but otherwise that's open. Now that display around that tree is not original to the chapel. We had an artist that came and said if, if he could build a seating area around the tree, they wouldn't charge us any money as long as we could put a plaque there so that people would know who made that. So we said, sure, go ahead. In the summer, in the summer in June and July, we have services here. A different pastor from all over the peninsula would come. So sometimes the people like to sit in the sit in the front. They'd come an hour early and sit out here and relax. All right. Now originally Route One, instead of coming where it's at, came through the middle of the cemetery. Oh wow! Okay. So the front door used to be on the other side. Okay. Didn't know that. Right. Uh, now so when segregation uh, came in, there used to be windows on either end here. When segregation came in, they didn't want the blacks going to the same door that they went through. Okay. So they made these two doors that go up into the balcony. Okay. See the holes that are, that are there? If you look, look at it, I ask people, what do you think those holes were from? I've had people say candles. No. Somebody said a gun so they could shoot. No. They're called cut holes. And what they are was for the scaffolding. And the holes were left there because you always want to think your church is going to grow. Okay, all right. That wall through this that separates the cemetery. Mm -hmm. About three years ago, the com commission told any bishop who wanted to be buried here at Barrett's Chapel, as long as they were buried on this side of the fence, they, they wouldn't be charged. So that's our first taker, that's Bishop Mays. Okay. All right, let's see if we can get this door. Maybe. Got to do it just right. <laughs> There's been times that it's taken me five or six times to get in. Uh, only two, that's not only two. Only two today, okay. All right. Now, a few years back, um, they found out that the building was starting to disintegrate. So we were told we have to keep it at a certain temperature. So we have a heater with a propane backup, and we also have central air. So that's how we can have services in the summer. Okay. So as we have said, that where we came in was, uh, was originally the front, but it was uh, yeah over here was mm -hmm. originally the front, and that was uh, changed. They had that where we came in would have had a big gigantic fireplace. When that was taken out, they had two wood burning stoves and then they had these coal burning. Mm -hmm. The panes in the window, most of them are the original beveled glass. Uh, when lawn mowers came in and things were being, you know, the throwing stones off and such, um, some of the panes would get broken. The curator used to have. Uh, a company that had the bevel glass from that era. Um, unfortunately, they went out of business, but when I was doing a tour about four years ago, the gentleman had a house from the 1890s. He just changed all the windows to the current, to the new windows, and he donated some bevel glass. So if that happens again, we still have a little bit of backup. All right. The front area of the chapel Used originally was one third this size because in the beginning we did not have any ordained ministers so we couldn't take communion. There would have been six to eight steps going up. And if you look at that chandelier and you try to go up six or eight steps, the pastor was all so close to that chandelier, which at the, that time did not have no drip candles. <laughs> so, uh, the, Bible that is up there is actually, um, yeah, screwed to the podium. 
It is from the uh, late uh, 1700s. The chapel is used. We, we normally have uh, about, uh, we used to have about eight, 10 to 12 weddings a year. Since COVID, we haven't had as many, maybe five or six a year. Um, you aren't allowed to have candles. Um, we do allow them to decorate, but they cannot tape to any of the furniture so they can tie it. Uh, we do have, if you see on the on some of the poles, you'll see some command strips. Mm -hmm. In December, the, normally we decorate it for Christmas. Um, the second Tuesday of December, we have a service called Lessons and Carols. Um, that normally um, we have a group of women that, that flock together and we make cascades, which we hang on the pillars. And we normally have three or four poinsettias in the front. And um, Christmas Eve, we have a service that's, we normally have it early this year, we had it at four, mm -hmm. so that people who could come here and still go to their home church. Mm -hmm. uh, in the summer, normally June and July, we'll have ser uh, services. A different pastor from all over the peninsula would come. Um, sometimes they would bring the choir or part of the choir. Sometimes they would bring a soloist. Mm -hmm. One pastor brought a teenage girl that did a dance interpretation to a Christian song. Mm -hmm. uh, we also, some groups, we have a group that's trying to do a revival and bring Christianity back to the four points. Mm -hmm. And they normally rent out the chapel from us a couple times a year. And the pastor Three hours have an open door policy and, and uh, same with the lessons. Uh, we have had women's groups that uh, before they break through the summer, they'll have their last meeting here, and then we open up the vestry for them and they'll have a back motion for the women and we serve that. So it is the chapel is used. Well, it's open, but they only give, uh, sometimes during our summer services, if there's something special going on, we used to have a group, there's a camp that has, uh, for a week, has special ed, uh, adults, people that can't speak or hear, and um, the bishop would come, and she does sign language, so they would come and they'd put on a show, a little play stick for us, and the bishop would Am I allowed to step up and video up top? You certainly may. There okay. are steps right there. They're nice size steps. Now, the furniture that is up top there is not original to the chapel. Um, there was no uh, seats up there with black folks. How much stairs at this point? Um, different different uh, churches that closed down, dropped off. So, different pews. So, it's kind of neat as you can see how things you know, have changed during the years. There's some benches up there that actually, instead of having things on the back of the pews and just put it in your own Bible, they have drawers underneath, which I think is, you know, is better for mm -hmm. mm -hmm. And there are some uh, benches that are up there that have notes on them because they were painted the lead pens. Let the people know, don't sit there. Thank you. 